Woman of the Hour is a new Netflix film in the directorial debut of Anna Kendrick. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. In 1970s Los Angeles, a wave of murders makes headlines. A young woman aspiring to become an actress and a serial killer cross paths during an episode of a dating show. I was very curious about Anna Kendrick's directorial debut. She has had some good films where she's shown a more dramatic performance and she has a lot of movies where she has that more comedic side to it. And what she does so well with this movie is that she's able to bring that comedy from her, that quirkiness. This character that is an aspiring actress and she takes this chance to get her face out there and it's on a dating show. But behind all of that is Rodney. He is a serial killer. This is based on a true story in the 1970s. He's able to be very charismatic on the dating show to win her over. But throughout all of this film, we do see other victims of Rodney and Anna Kendrick is able to bring the intensity, the more dramatic side to this movie. A lot of those heartbreaking, really graphic moments to this movie. And so she is able to do a lot with bringing more of the, the lighthearted moments with her uh, that she's also stars in as she's able to and showcase uh, the fun part of being on this dating show while not knowing that the serial killer is there. And then all of the other scenes, it's like a switch up. And she's able to craft and showcase all of those hard moments uh, that these women went through on screen. And throughout all this movie, she's able to convey this message of power the power that the men within this movie have over the women. If it's Pete Holmes as her neighbor, inserting himself into her apartment, or Tony Hale as the host, commanding what she says and does, or Daniel Sovato as Rodney, the men within this film have a certain power and it becomes quite disgusting within this movie. She's looking at misogyny and violence between the two and trying to connect it and there is just a lot of graphic moments, especially coming from Rodney. Now, what Daniel Savato does well within this movie, and I know that it'd probably be very hard for him to portray a serial killer, but moments on the dating show, he's able to show why he was so charismatic and won over Cheryl within this movie played by Anna Kendrick. Certain moments where he's trying to be trustworthy to these women that he comes across. He wants to take their pictures. He tells these elaborate stories. It's building what he did and how he became charismatic to these women and they wanted to trust him and he used that against them. And the switch up from Daniel Savato going from uh, being very um, open and having that communication and then using that against the women. Daniel Savato's performance is very strong in here. You see that charisma that he had, but also it's very haunting and sinister when he did what he did in the 70s and all the women that he killed. I was afraid that with Anna Kendrick directing this movie and her starring in it, that it would have a lot of focus on moments that were just about Cheryl and her uh, becoming this aspiring actress and wanting to appear on this dating show when the whole story was really focused on Rodney and other women that he had killed in the 70s. I thought it was smart of Anna Kendrick to not have the focus so much on her, but what Cheryl went through on this dating show, but also the other women in telling their stories as well. I would regard Cheryl as the main character of this movie, but you'd never feel like the focus was truly on her. It was all of Rodney and the power that he had over the women that he encountered throughout this movie. It's an incredibly hard film to watch at times. Reminds me a little bit of Zodiac. It does have some intensity behind it with Anna Kendrick directing it. It does have some comedy kind of in the beginning of her being this aspiring actress 
and the ins and outs of this dating show, but it does show the hardships that these women went through and their encounters with Rodney and eventually leading to his arrest. And this is based on a true story. So we know kind of what we already know what's going to happen, but there is some gripping moments along the way, but also just some really disturbing scenes and some great performances along the way. So before I give my score for Woman of the Hour, make sure to check out my channel here. I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give Woman of the Hour a B plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Woman of the Hour, the new film directed by Anna Kendrick. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.